This particular ad called Tom Barrett No Thanks comes from the conservative PAC Right Direction Wisconsin. It attacks Barrett's record as mayor of Milwaukee, blaming him for the increases in government spending, taxes and unemployment rates. While the claims do add up, they fail to connect the dots between the numbers and Barrett's policies and paint a one-dimensional picture of the economic situation in Milwaukee. With Mayor Tom Barrett in charge, things in Milwaukee are looking up. Milwaukee taxes are up with Barrett. This statement checks out if you look at the total tax levy from 2004 through 2012. But if you look around the state, many municipalities saw similar increases. And more importantly, the reason behind the increases isn't specified in the ad. Government spending is up with Barrett too. This checks out too. In 2004, Milwaukee's budget was just above $1 billion. 2012's budget, $1.4 billion, an increase of more than $330 million. That's a significant increase percentage-wise, and I think it reflects a city that believed that spending to support its citizens uh, was a positive uh, motivator. Although the mayor's office is largely responsible for determining the city's budget, the director of the Wisconsin Institute for Public Policy and Service says Milwaukee has faced an uphill battle coming out of the recession. I think Milwaukee is a city that really uh, suffered from uh, a serious loss in, in manufacturing. You know, many cities, especially large cities, are facing you know, structural issues. They're facing people who are increasingly out of work. So, I mean, I think there are some uh, reasons why one could argue that the budget was increased. And Milwaukee unemployment is way up with Tom Barrett. The unemployment rate when Barrett took office in April of 2004 was just above 8 percent. The latest figures from March of 2012 show the unemployment rate is now around 10 and a half percent. Again, the statement checks out. But if you compare Wisconsin's unemployment rate increase during that same time period and the national numbers. The fact that you know, the unemployment rate only went up 28 uh, percent over this really horrendous stretch. It really probably uh, has very little to do with, with Mayor Barrett's leadership and everything to do with uh, the global economy. Job losses under Tom Barrett are so devastating that Milwaukee became one of America's 10 worst cities for unemployment. This final statement needs clarification. In 2007, Milwaukee did rank in the top 10 for highest unemployment rates among the country's 50 biggest cities. But Milwaukee has always had a disproportionate number of poor people, and over the last five years, the city's ranking has steadily gotten better. I think the fact that there has been an increase, or if you want to put it another way, a decrease in what's going on in some other cities, I think probably speaks a little bit to some success, but on the other hand, it also speaks to the, the, the way the economy has really affected negatively many, many cities. Bottom line, this ad is incomplete. The unemployment figures and tax and government spending increases are there, but the ad doesn't directly link them to any of the mayor's policies. It also misleads viewers, placing all of the blame on Barrett, when in general, large Rust Belt cities like Milwaukee are more prone to job creation challenges. And no matter city size, the 2008 economic crisis negatively impacted everyone. Definitely there's truth in the ad, and really the question is, you know, does the voter get sort of a nuanced perspective of what really has happened over time and what, what the causes? And the truth is we don't really get fundamentally at the causes for why the numbers are the way they are. It's also worth mentioning that Governor Walker was the Milwaukee County Executive for six and a half of the eight years Barrett has been mayor of Milwaukee. It's unclear what role Walker played in terms of the city's budget or policies to curb unemployment, but a similar debate could apply to his time in office in Milwaukee.